Thank you, thank you so much for coming on time too. And for those of you who are just a few minutes late, let's just tighten it up just a couple minutes. I, I absolutely love it. So we're ready to rock and roll. Oliver, thank you for taking some time to actually come and see us in person again. We always appreciate that. And then after, uh, so we're gonna go over a little bit of training now. And then after this, we can actually break into smaller groups if you like, like even like some of the teams or some people, if you guys are sticking around, if not, that's okay. Um, and then we'll start going over some of our numbers and stuff. So we haven't revealed everybody as a team. As at the end of March, for the next one, we're gonna look at every single person individually. So you will know where you stand against everybody else and everybody's numbers are wide open and out there. And this is where we need to be. I've given you a month to prep now, more than that. And how I see the contest working is I think we're probably gonna run it. Like, cause the first, the first month of this, we, we did have one week off where we didn't get just some technical difficulties, no, nobody's fault by any means. Um, and we were trying to figure out, hey, what are we, you know, what are our benchmarks that we're working on? How are we, you know, what do we want to do uh, as we ramp up? So I think we'll probably, I still want to start it officially on March 1st, because that's a day when people, when people really went into it. Some of you went harder than others. Um, but March 1st is still a starting day. But I probably am going to add, I'm probably going to do the, the quarter from that point. So the first one's probably going to be four months. So you have the first month to just ramp up. And then we got our three months, but we'll put them all together. But I wanna, it took a little longer to start this because we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. To be honest with you, I just knew that we needed to do something and we needed to develop it together. So I think adding that extra month is actually a cool thing. It, it adds a little bit of buffer. It's the last month of the first quarter anyway, so. Exactly, yeah, so basically it's still gonna be the whole second quarter. At the end of the second quarter um, is when the end of the contest will be, but we're gonna add the month of March to it as well. Okay, so. All right, uh, Oliver, thanks again, man. Let's get uh, let's rocking and rolling. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody for showing up bright and early today. Uh, so I wanted to go into mid-level pipeline management because that's where we're going. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to say thank you to everybody for all of the feedback. Um, I'm sorry for connection issues that have happened. I don't want to, you know, not address that. That is something that you guys and, and your feedback has been really integral. I've, I've actually escalated it all the way up the chain of command and they're really looking into it. So your voice is heard loud and clear. So thank you for that. I want to thank everybody for uh, being patient with the process. So and keep documenting. Yeah, keep documenting every single time. Let keep us send, know. send an email and CC me, send them, CC me every single time, man, because we will take that off of your uh, bottom uh, bottom number on your conversion rate when we do our final numbers, okay? If we haven't done a few, can we go back in time? Like uh, if you can, if you can find them, I don't. If you can yeah. find the exact minute, you remember the minute when well, something no, happened. Oh, I screenshot. Oh, then yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, no. Whether you send, I'm sorry, Oliver, just one second. Whether you send it now, I, I would like. Yeah. I really want you guys to get into the best practice of do it now instead of like now both loading like four or five things later. <laughs> right, okay. Um, only because it's like it, the best practice makes it way easier. The more we do this, the more it becomes habit, so that it just becomes second nature okay. to us. And then, and then you're not chasing it later down the road. It's the same way when I was saying at the end of you guys, uh, at the end of your day of showings, even if it's like two different clients, the very last day, it, you know, you sit in your car, you congratulate yourself, you take five minutes and you move your status, just add a couple notes, boom, you're done. And then you don't have to worry about that, and then you won't be receiving a text message from Katie at 9 a.m. the next day. And by the way, uh, just so you know, like if you ever received a text message at 9 a.m. and it is your phones at 9 a.m., chances are you got a couple from overnight. So it's just a reminder to you, okay? Obviously, we're not going to pause your phone because your phone's just about to start, but that has to be done by the end of your shift, please, okay? But she's still going to give you the reminder because this. We're like a machine now, so that's how it's gonna happen. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, no, so I wanted to say thanks for that. Um, also really wanted to jump into the brand, right? We talked a lot about brand and, and the promise of an experience last time, right? And I just want to reiterate that, like, we are looking across the country for the best teams to work with, and it's only gonna be the best teams that, that, that come across the bridge with us. So really focusing and working on this foundation now, is is going to be so paramount. Jason and I were talking at the gym this morning about how teams are not going to make it, pe brokerages are not going to make it, and, and we need to put the time in because we're going to make it, right? This team is going to accelerate out of this, you know, inventory shortage, this, this market compression. This is where, you know, 
the strong basically take other people's lunch, right? Like mm -hmm. let's eat their lunch and make sure that we're accelerating out of this mm -hmm. with a strong brand, a strong promise of an experience mm -hmm. for the consumers. Yes. Right? I think I've, I've, I've drilled this enough. ALM, right? Appointment, location, motivation, right? The front end of the call, so you guys got this, right? We know how to take a call, but if you're following the process, just like, you know, Jason was saying, you know, getting into the habit of doing it the right way the first time, instead of having to go back and, and do that time over again, is just so, so important because once the spring and summer really start to ramp up and you get super busy, you need to make sure that the muscle memory, the habits are in place so that you can maximize each and every appointment, each and every call that you get because when you're trying to run around <laughs> 10 clients instead of you five, bless you. you, it's gonna be a lot harder for your brain to keep everything straight. You need to make sure that you have the process in place. So really, really focusing on ALM. We listened to a couple calls last week. We're gonna to listen to some more today, but really focusing on that process. And why? Because the proof is in the pudding. If you're not using ALM, no discussion right here. I'm gonna use my finger pointer again because it was awesome last time. 2.3% <laughs> to 9.9%. That's predictive analytics of conversion, right? I would much rather have you guys do the ALM and close 10% of the time rather than 2.3. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. It's simple too, you know, and then when you're following something as simple as ALM, I know what we're talking about, just, just briefly today, but when you're following something as simple as this, when they ask that question that kind of trips you up, or like a, a, a question that's just not normal, or something that's or that's unique to the property, you can easily put it because we don't want to be sitting there stumbling, right? Uh, 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 we don't want to be doing that. We can put ourselves right back on track with one of those three letters. Which one did I do already? The, the first one should be out the gate, like every single time. The intro, and then hey, you'd like to see one, two, three, four, two, three, Saturday at one, 1 p.m. Yes, no problem. Hey, it's so simple. Intro, point, the, the intro, and give what they want. Tell me. Then you can get on the L at the L and but A should be like an automatic one. The A needs to be automatic. Location of motivation is what locks you in as their person, right? Mm -hmm. People want to tell their story to one person. They don't want to talk to five people, tell their story. Like once they're locked in and you're a professional and they're like, oh man, I, I want to work with you. That's awesome, right? Figure out why, right? I was I was thinking about like, you know this whole process and why we overcomplicate it, right? If, if, you, if you keep it simple and like, you're taking stuff in all the time, right? Your cup is getting filled all the time with stuff, right? If, if you're not taking in more stuff and you're just keeping it simple, right? You're, you're not gonna overflow. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to focus on those people's and their wants and needs rather than trying to like, think of like, oh, I told this one person this thing and this other person, like it becomes unattainable if, if you're not keeping to the simple practice of like giving them what they want and helping the client cross the bridge. Thinking about that person, not a lead, right? If you have 200, 300 leads over the course of the year or more, right? Some people have more than 200 people that they're talking with this year, right? Think about that. Mm -hmm. Instead of thinking, oh, I got 10 leads last month, I got 20 leads the month before that, I got 10 leads this phone shift, or whatever it is, right? Like, oh my gosh, now I, how am I gonna manage 200 people? It's really focusing on the process. It's focusing on the person that, that you're working with and helping them. And if you're doing that, your numbers are gonna skyrocket. So what are we looking for? So Zillow Confidential is in the corner because this is like the secret sauce, right? And it's not that crazy. All it is is like, hey, you get a new connection. We want your answer rate at 60% or above. Pick up the phone. We figured this out. Yep. You, guys, you guys have this now down path. This is awesome. I was fighting with Jason for four years on right. getting the answer rate right up. <laughs> and now I'm not fighting with Jason anymore. Uh, yes! yes. Is answer rate just for one hour, two hour on call shift, or is it the stuff that pulls over as well? 
Okay, so that's a great question. What we're looking at for answer rate is as the whole team. When, when, when it says answer rate of 60%, now if I see you at a 30% answer rate, I'm gonna talk to you directly. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have that discussion. So what we're looking for is making sure that we are answering that as a whole team. But if we're looking at our own personal numbers, your own personal numbers should be fucking 90. Right, but when we see, what I'm saying is when we look into our numbers, mm -hmm. is that talking just about our during our call shifts or the stuff that's like I'll check it off that when it comes back. Stuff, that stuff too. That's a great question. I can address that a little bit more in a minute okay. too. But yeah, during your answer shift, you're okay. Keep it real simple. Yeah. No, because some of you are in the investor line and do other things I did. Um, your answer rate, how I you can judge this two ways. You know, what I want to be judged as a team, as a whole. So that as long as we have at least a 60% answer rate, the reason that we need this is because that is going to at least deliver us the amount of shit that we paid for. Sure. So as a, as a whole team. During your phone shifts, we would expect a 90% pick up because it's your phone shift. You should be there. I will give you the one exception that every once in a while, they, you'll fucking get two calls in a row. And it happens. So I would bet that it doesn't happen more than one out of 10 times. And if it does to you, then you're a fucking massive anomaly. And it's not gonna continue to happen. It just happens here and there, right. okay? So we don't have to really discuss it because we've known this shit for you know, seven years with this program. And, and believe me, it, or nobody's out to get you, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we're really looking for a nine out of 10 pickup rate. Seven of you have 100%, actually. So it, it's not unachievable on your actual phone shift as long as you're doing your phone shift. Well, when we look at it ourselves, yeah. to track yeah. ourselves, it's, it's Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes, absolutely. We and Oliver can break that down. I, we, his systems are so in, in, in depth that you can say, "Hey, I work from Tuesday shift from three to six. And we can look at our answer rate from Tuesday, all four of those days, from three to six, and then we go." Okay. The 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 piece and and why I'm so glad that we're really focusing on this is like I've heard right. It's not like I've heard rumors that answer rate is actually even going to start being part of Best and Silver. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Because because now we're doing better with that. So go ahead. Judge so, us on it because we're making shit up. So just you know, behind the curtain, right? Want to make sure that we're doing what we can. This piece is is really paramount, right? Appointment rate at sixty seven percent, right? This we, is where we left off last time. This is where we right left here. off. <coughs> Appointment rate needs to be at sixty seven percent or higher. And that means if you're talking to ten people set seven appointments mm -hmm. get out in front of them go show them property go meet that person focus on the person i don't care what property is focus on the person and get them into your pipeline get them into your workflow so that you can convert them either now or in the future right because if you meet them and you show your value to them as a realtor as a professional full-time realtor that you're going to help them through their whole process, not just show them this house and then this person disappears, right? Get that person into your workflow, set the appointment, right? If you're going to be setting 67% appointment rate, you should be meeting with 45% of those people. Some people are gonna drop out. Some people are gonna cancel the appointment. Some people, the house is gonna you know, go under contract. They're gonna you know, disappear, whatever. You know, some of those people are going to disappear, right? Especially if like you set the, the person wants to see it like today is, you know, today's Wednesday. They want to see it like next Friday, right? Like between now and next Friday, a lot can happen. But if you're meeting with 45% of people, right? And these are statuses in the app, right? So making sure that we're updating the app, you know, through follow boss, through Zillow, however you want to do it. I don't care if like you send a carrier pigeon and it changes the app, like do it. So that we can look and say, hey, Kevin, you set 67 appointments, but you only met with 22% of people. What happened, right? Like why are your appointments only showing up a third of the time? Because instead of me saying, hey, Kevin, let's talk about ALM. Like I'm tired of talking about ALM, right? We should be past that. We should be talking about like, yeah. hey, you set appointments and why are they not showing up? What are you doing on those calls? What are you doing on your follow-up between setting the appointment and going to the appointment so that that person doesn't want to meet with you, right? 
Mm-hmm. Actually, I think it's kind of generous. How, I mean, to me, the more when you set the appointment, I, I, I think I meet with a hell of a lot more than 22% less than those people. So I actually think you're being pretty generous there. What I'd love to see in all reality, in, that, in, in all fucking reality, I know I've listened to these calls, I've been on the calls, I used to work the calls for years. If you can really get in front of one out of every two people, that's what that really says. Yep. If you can get out of one, if you can meet with one out of every two people, you are doing phenomenal. If you can meet with one out of every two people, you're doing phenomenal. That's even a benchmark that they set right there at 45%. Yep. So where we're really lacking is we move things. Well, he's going to show you some numbers. We're, we're, I know we're I know we're not performing like this, so this is why we're doing this training. I got to see. We need to move the needle. We need to just move it to the next level. Our met with rate, appointment rate is is, is off. All those other things are fucking pitiful. We'll get there. It, it's pitiful, but we can fix this shit super super easy. Yep. And like I said, I think it's just moving things at the end of your appointments, and then I know what's going on. So once you meet with forty five percent of people. One out of every three of those people that you meet with, you should be submitting offers with, right? Mm-hmm. One out of every three people. That's they fair. they told Zillow they're looking at buying or selling a property. They want to buy or sell a house. They're ready to talk with an agent. You've done what you're supposed to do. You've showed them the house. You've gotten them excited. You've carried them across the bridge. It's the one, like, you gotta sell the house, right? So many times, I hear agents, and, and I know that this is none of you guys, right? But like, when you walk through the house and you get done and they, they kind of like it, and then you're like, okay, cool, like, I'll call you later, see what you think. Like, no, rate the house at the end of the showing. Hey, was this a seven out of 10 or greater? Is this something that we should put an offer oh. in? Yeah, just stop for one second. That's, that's pretty cool. Did you guys ever think about asking somebody to rate the house? I, I've never actually heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think yeah. that's a cool, it's a game. Yeah. Dude, I think that, you know what I love about that? Not only does it give you the insight you need, but it helps to build rapport because now you're playing a game with somebody. Yeah. That's really fucking awesome. I can make that up. Hey, How do you wrap, wrapping up? Yeah, I, 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 yeah go ahead. When, like, I like to do multiple, like five, six in a day, so that I, mm-hmm. at the end, rank them. Oh, so, like, right. this one's going to be the last one. Cool. Yeah. And a scale by the end of the day. Yeah, great. So I, I obviously speak to them. I just, I never yeah. thought about yeah. actually making it analytical, like through yeah. numbers. I think that's really smart. And if you get really good at it, think about when you're setting the appointment on the first call. Hey, instead of just seeing this one, I really want to make sure that we're seeing a few homes so that we can compare and contrast during our search. Mm-hmm. So if you're getting ahead of that ranking system, mm-hmm. You're setting multiple appointments, setting a better appointment because they're not gonna they're not gonna cancel on you if you have three appointments instead of one because not all three houses are gonna go under contract mm-hmm. in the day. So they're not gonna be like, oh, that one under contract. Well, now now you have to go back and forth and play phone tag for the next week until another property comes on the market. That's a great point too, right? So set that multiple appointment. You become that expert quicker on the phone because. You're showing them, hey, instead of just running out and showing you one house, I want to make sure I'm maximizing your time. Let's so- go see three properties in an hour instead of one in 30 minutes. I know when I bought my house in Connecticut, we had to pack up the kids and drive around, right? And see all the houses. How A lot of parents, raise your hand. Bunch. <laughs> How awesome is it to pack up the kids and work against their like kid their schedules to go try to see a house okay so it hurts for you guys if you do it every day think about for the person that's not used to getting their kids all bundled up to go see a house and then it's a dog and that house sucks and they just wasted 30 minutes driving to this house they packed up the kids they rearranged schedules they did this they did that and then you didn't have the, the foresight to think, oh, let's let's take an hour instead of 30 minutes. Because really that 30 minutes that they went and saw the house was an hour, was an hour and a half of like wrangling of all the other pieces that they had to do to see that 30 minutes. But all of that other work was done that you could then use that hour, right? 
So now your expertise is multiplying because, wow, you're, you're ahead of the curve. You're helping them. You're saving them time. Yeah. And if you saw one in it, what, what about, like, you know, the, some of these fish are catfish in there too, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you look at it, and then you're like, oh, this thing looks like shit. Like, uh, the one company does a really good job of uh, making shit look way better than it is. Uh, the, the 360 or whatever, they get, they get, oh, man, they, yeah. they, man, they mask the shit out of that. They filter the hell out of those. So in, the, in that effect, if you find something, you can just look at something that's a similar, um, a, a similar square footage, similar neighborhood within like 15 minutes. Well, how about it, it's so cool with showing time too. You can just literally click a button and it's there and be like, hey, I didn't know if this one would be good or not. Uh, but you, if it is real good, hey, you want to compare this to other one that's really similar? Hey, I'm sorry, this one's a piece of shit, but I got something that might be a little bit better too. And then literally, you're just pushing a button to cancel or to keep. And then you're looking really good there. Yep. I told you guys the story of the, the cat piss house. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't be the cat piss house person. Like, don't be that person. We will try not to. <laughs> I think of cat piss when I actually, you know, I'm bored with like, all right, son of Clifford Hopkins. There you go. <laughs> I mean, don't be, like, don't, be that, don't be that agent. Like, be the person that, like, solves for the cat piss house. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. So, let's so, talk real quick. So, uh, the numbers that you pulled, for appointment rates, Matt Winfrey, that you're about to show them yes. a little bit. How recent are those? That goes back all the way to March of last year. Okay. Do we have, I'm curious if we have, because we spoke about this last time. I'd love to see, a, a little bit of this, we've only done a week, right? Um, I'd love to see the change from March, the middle point, from January to the middle point of March, to the middle point of March, to the middle point of April. Okay. Just to show the appointment rate Matt with rate, because I think that now we're emphasizing this so much more. I'd love to be able to show these guys off, showing them that they're moving the needle. Okay, so yeah, I don't have that pulled right here, yeah, but yeah, we can we can definitely dig into that. Okay. So once we once you put in offers, you 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 know, this this is how this is the funnel, right? This is the funnel, right? And and by no means do I do I want to lose sight of the fact that like taking leads you're like drinking from a fire hose. It's like, hey, like, go. Like, you know, it's it's not like, oh, you know, we're gonna take some, li-. like, you guys have a fire hose of leads. Like, you have to pick up, you have to make sure that you're monitoring and, and working a really robust pipeline, right? So making sure that you have the funnel that's going down to those deals, that's really, really paramount to, to maximize each and every opportunity. And I wanna like, think about this. Right, and, and there's another thing that, that we were talking about this morning is like, you guys have 1.5%. Yeah, one, we have 1.55. 1.55% of every transaction that happens in Buffalo. Western New York, actually. Western New York. Think about that as like, okay, 1.55%. What's 1%, guys? I'm not. One out of a hundred, a half percent cuts off another twenty-five. You guys are responsible for one out of every seventy-five transactions in Western New York. One out of same. every seventy-five transactions. So, if we put, you know, what is what is another quarter of a percent? Two. That would be one out of fifty. So another uh, no, no two no, percent no, would be one out of fifty. Uh, be one out of uh, what seventy-five plus twelve? One out of eighty-seven. So if we go, if we, let's just do round numbers. If we go from 1.55 and we, we get half a percent more, we go to two. I'm sorry, reverse it, yes, minus 12. If we go to 2%, so like if we think about like, we're talking real big picture, but if we get half a percent more, that's like life changing for everybody in this room. Half a percent. Literally, it would be. That would be the difference between me marginal profit and actually like having a pretty fucking sweet profit. Everybody in this room, half a percent. So our goal by tweaking, like think about the littlest changes in your daily habits and routines to, to do half a percent more. Again, you can't do well. Not everybody's doing this. I work with 40 teams in the entire Northeast. Not everybody's doing this. Not everybody's focusing on being the best in their whole marketplace. 
because they're complacent with, oh, I'm gonna get a couple transactions, I'm gonna work only the low hanging fruit and I'm not gonna follow up my, on, my, on my pipeline. You can be successful just, you know, working the low hanging fruit, but you're gonna be so much more successful, half a percent, at working your pipeline and the low hanging fruit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at, this is our numbers as a group, right? So answer rate. Right, we got that shit unlocked. Right. Wait, uh, what is what's that this first? Is this is January? March. March. Okay. March, March of, of last year? year. March of this year. Got it. Okay. So nice. it's it's sequential, right? So yeah. appointment rate. We were twenty one percent in March of last year. We were twelve percent in April. Right. So this is literally based off of you updating the Zillow app. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the last three months, we're at twenty nine point eight. So essentially thirty, but. February and March, we're at 35%. So we went from 21% appointment rate to 35% appointment rate. Yes. When did the follow-up boss integration happen? Uh, go back for like four months. You like can November? See, as soon as you like really started to fuck with it, you can, I can literally see your numbers getting better when we said, you know what, I'm not fucking with this anymore, we're doing this. And we all bought into it. You can see the difference. And you can really see, oh, fuck, the, This answer rate is finally at a, at a good rate what he was referencing for like previous marches, previous years, we literally sometimes had like 30%, 40%, 40%, and it was just, it was just murderous. So we figured out phase one, phase two, which we really want to do right now. And here's, here's what I'm saying. I'm an advocate for you guys because I think you're doing this. I think that you're at a, an appointment rate that's really probably closer to like maybe 55, 60, which I'm pretty fucking happy with. I just don't see it. And that's the fucking problem. So if this thing moves to flex, guys, yeah. If this moves to flex, and if when it moves to flex, I'm no longer in charge. I can't spend my money. I, I can't bully anybody. I can't do shit. They're all all they got is a dude who looks at a computer screen and says, those numbers don't match. We're going to cut that team. That's why we're doing all this shit right now. Because if anything fucking happens, we are going to be right here. And I can tell you one thing about flex. I definitely know from running my team in Phoenix. When they brought me in in Phoenix, I was at the very lowest end of the totem pole. There was a thousand teams that they brought into Flex to start with. By the time I had arrived, because Oliver was cool enough to bring me to New York City to talk to uh, to Caps, to, to bring, like, literally to have Caps make some calls from New York City to all the way to the West Coast to get this team started for me, and they did. So we did the best we could, but I'll tell you right now, there's a thousand teams. When I joined it, there was 90, and I was ranked 90. And the people at the top couldn't even touch them. Couldn't even break into it because the people at the bottom, you know what happens? They gave me fucking land leads, a shit ton of land leads. So it's a little bit different, but this is how Phoenix works. Phoenix is super spread out. So you know, when somebody just gets into the game, guess what they feed you? Well, you know, a lot of you got into the game originally. What'd you have to do? You cut your feet on the investor ballot. You got only one or two shifts because that's what you needed to get yourself ramped up. I am not fucking restarting us again when we already have the advantage of staying at the top. What flex happens and when they do, regardless of what the fuck they say, because I know that this is true, what they say to the public and what they say to the back door is, is different. We, we know this, Oliver. Um, flex leads are weighted leads and they're given to the people that are the, have the highest numbers. Have this, like if you want not only leads that are, are scrubbed, but scrubbed and then weighted and giving grades, like these are better leads, we can stay right at the top. We would enter at the top because that's where our numbers are and we would stay at the fucking top. I do, once you get there, you stay there. Now our PPP, which is pay per, for, pay per performance, which is the system we're in right now, well, we built this, we bought all this over the course of five years. When we first started, it was east side, west side. Well, that's all we could afford. I, I was making fucking, $40,000 as a teacher. 10,000 of it I was trying to buy leads with, just scraping shit together just to try to build this thing for nothing. So I don't want to start from the back part. I want to, if, if and when this goes to this, I want us to already have the numbers where they're like, that's the team. Because these guys, when you look at it from a, when a, from a, a large corporate standpoint, the less personnel they have to talk to, the more efficient they're, they're, they are as a company, which means that they don't want to talk to 30 individual agents all buying leads. Flex, Zillow and Flex have no, no real reason to work with an individual agent because then they need a hell of a lot more Olivers reporting to each one of those. 
They want to have one Oliver talk to one dude who's running, or her, who's running 20 or 30 people because the personnel makes a lot of sense. It's just trickle down. One person talks to one person talks to 20. Not one person talks to 20 individual people. We can stay out on this. This is our next, this is our next stage. I think that, personally, when he runs his numbers in like four to six weeks, and we look at those appointment rates, met with rates and offer rates, I think we're gonna be almost near where our numbers are supposed to be from a national standpoint. Once we get to that point, then we got this shit dialed in. We don't need weekly, we don't need weekly meetings and things like that. We'll probably do at least once a month. I wanna, because I do wanna stay on this. I love the idea of the contest. I love the idea of all this, but we are heavy on the front of the part of the education. So that's why I'm asking you guys, commit to me for these 12, these 12, these next 12, 13 weeks so that we have this down, so that we created a habit. It takes 30 days for human beings to build and destroy good and bad habits. We're creating good habits now, and we're gonna stay on this shit, and we're gonna treat each other fairly, and, and this is gonna allow me to know who the hell is doing what. I want to get you, you guys, I, I want to get you more stuff, and I also wanna make sure that you're not fucking getting drowned, you're not drowning, okay? Balance is the key word here. That's the one word I want you to, to be able to achieve because a balance means a healthy balance of work and family life and fun life. That's, that's what we want for every, everybody. I don't, you can't have one of too much of one thing because the others will fail, the others will drown. We're gonna keep everything afloat and we're gonna swim together. Okay, but I, I can't wait for, I can't wait to, to show these guys off in fucking a little while. I'm telling you, I know it's gonna happen because I see some of the great things already, guys. I see it happening. So there's two things, yeah, two things from that, right? So one is, who wants more business right now? Everyone. Oh. <laughs> wow, everybody raised their hand. Awesome. Okay, so the beautiful thing about this data is it's all still in your inbox, right? So if you go back, so all these people, all these people that you didn't set appointments with last year, call all of them and you update it and you reintroduce yourself to somebody you met last year and say, hey, we talked last year. The market's picking up again. Let's talk. Jason already paid for it. You already worked it. You forgot about them. Go in and update them. So you're gonna do two things. You're gonna re-engage your pipeline, but then this number, since this is a time-scaled equation, our data team's really smart. So if you go in and update something right up here, this number will actually change. Nice. So you can make yourselves look amazing moving forward because you're gonna do that because now we're saying you have to, but you can also get more business from stuff that you've already paid for and help yourself out and the numbers will actually look good going back. Right, because that's why you see like offer rate and close rate is higher up at the top because you're still closing people that came in up here, right? And it's time scale. So for Buffalo, five six percent is is above average, but like most people are in like the three to four range, right? But I know we can get to ten, but it takes time to get there. So work on all of the people that you have, not just the new shiny object. Because if you all want more business, these are the best leads in the industry. They're the best leads in the industry and you have a pile of them sitting there that you're like, you know what, I'm gonna wait for my phone shift. But I got these people, I'm not saying everybody waits and doesn't follow up on their pipeline, but, I'm, but I know that there's a lot of people that if you called them, and you got them six months ago, and you call them and you're like, hey, what's up? They're gonna be like, oh, I bought with somebody else, thanks. I bet that will happen more times than you set appointments for. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be like, oh, wow. I admit that was a $400,000 closing. And I didn't close them, they closed with somebody else because I didn't follow up. And, and then I start seeing agents get a lot better at their follow up on their new stuff because they're like, oh wait, that person bought because I forgot to follow up. They still bought a house, right? So how do we do this? Oh, second thing, right? You're talking about internal brand. Like you wanna get better so that 
you know, we look at the, the numbers internally. We have a data team that looks at the numbers and we're like, you guys aren't doing what you need to do, right? But think about it externally. Think about that same exact mentality externally, right? As a promise of an experience to the consumer, right? How are you showing up every single time as that promise to that consumer, right? If you're doing it, it's gonna do two things. It's gonna make our data team happy because you're doing all of the things that we're coaching to, but it's also going to make every single other interaction that you have with the consumer better. So because you're more cognizant of it, you're gonna have a better experience up and down from where you're at. Cool? Yeah. All right, I have a question. Yes, please. Two questions. You both raised your hand at the same time. So if we're showing if we're showing homes, but then we're not anymore because then we're putting them to nurture, is that gonna hurt us? I mean well, if once they've gone to showing homes, right? Like right. what if they what? you find out they're not pre approved or they're not ready or you know, like I have a guy I was submitting offers with but he lost his job, like it, it, it sucks that we've built this relationship, we've done all these steps. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, is there, I feel like I wish there was another Oh, option. okay, so what you're saying is, I'm, I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. I got to this point, but I hit a fucking roadblock. It wasn't me. I didn't hit the roadblock, right. but my person might have lost the job. They might be no longer looking. Whatever that is, that person's got to go yeah. then. Where, where would you take them from nurture. that point? Right to? Nurture. nurture. Now, if they go to nurture, does that hurt them? No, but what I would say is because it's going to know that it already went to show and homes. Right? Okay, so they still get credit for that then, at least for that. Yeah, but I would figure out what makes sense for you. Because if you're going to pile somebody that you took to showing homes into the bucket of nurture. Well, well hang on one second. I know where you're going with this. Because our, our nurture bucket is has different pieces inside of the bucket. Yeah. So they, they're different action, I'm sorry, different action plans inside of the bucket. So a nurture that we already spoke with would have a different action plan versus a nurture that we've never physically yeah, talked. That's, never my physically biggest, talked. that's my only gripe right now. Right? Yeah. Like I feel like the nurture needs to be broken down a little more. It, you're you're hundred yeah. percent right. And you know what? All you have to do is just tell us how you want it to look. Okay. We can create the action plan. All you do is to literally tell Kate, hey, I got this person, uh, I want to put him on a six month plan. Hey, great example. Uh, person, uh, I mean, showed them a bunch of homes. Unfortunately, uh, we're not. They're, they're just outpriced, right? So they're going to work for the next six months. They're going to work on getting some bonuses. They're going to they're going to get down some debt to, to, to reduce their debt to income ratio, and then I'm going to see them in six months. So that nurture plan would be a hell of a lot different from somebody who you've never seen before, because now it could say, hey, one touch a month. Hey, just reaching out to you. Want to see? Hey, uh, how how's that? You know, how how's that one bill? How's that big bill going down? Because if you just took, now it's not bad, it's just like once a month. If you know you're not going to see somebody for six months, you don't fuck them, don't bug them, right? But definitely remind them that you're there. And then and then you're actually reaching, that's like what mortgage brokers honestly do, and they do very well. I almost wish do the same thing. Two, two actual labels different though. Well, yeah, like it, just just for the, like, you know, you said. Okay, you know what, we could do, there really could be important. active nurture and inactive nurture. That would be great. If you wanted to yeah. do that. Just that speaking out loud, guys. Remember, anything that we want to fucking do, we can create. We're doing this together right here, right now. And you guys are the best people to say how this should work. You just have to tell us, and we will create it. We have those programs for you. What about, I, I actually like this idea, an active nurture bucket yeah. and an inactive nurture yeah. bucket. Yeah. The more that you can separate, and Beth, Beth and I were chatting about this too, she really loves, it. now she's, she's totally bought into it, now like the funnel system, because she knows that, hey, if I'm real busy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to concentrate on the bottom of my yeah. funnel, because these, the, these are the strongest and people. And then maybe and then every work. other Monday go into active it, nurture, exactly. go through your notes. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel overwhelmed sometimes. Well, there's uh, yeah, I, I get it, I get it. Like, I'm talking to you and Katie about writing up different action plans too. Yes, so, yes. Because some of the action plans in here aren't the best, because there's a lot that are like, 
brokerage specific to whatever okay. we have access to. So well, make it specific to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then, so I've started writing different action plans to go and I just have to go to Katie to get in there. Yeah. Um, like there's listing ones and different ones that I've taken. Um, yeah. So we just have to get them inputted though. Yes, and, um, abs and we absolutely can do that. You know what? If you wouldn't mind, Stacey, because you're kind of a resident expert here. Um, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, maybe we could take uh, 10 minutes from the next, and if we could put that on our agenda, please. Oh, of course. Maybe we could take 10 minutes and we could say, we could have Stacey, if you don't mind, maybe show us on, on the screen and be like, hey, this is this is how I use this. And then we can look at it as a whole and then people can adopt it or they can tweak a little bit for each individual person. Does that sound pretty good, guys? I, I think it'd be fucking I great. Uh, Neil, question one? How's it waving? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. I don't really have a question, it's more of a student. Yeah, please. I think now that we've said it out loud, it, like, we were talking, it makes yeah. a bit more sense, because I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure the majority of us are going from talk, eating up the phone, and yeah. you set an appointment and you're going out to show homes. I put it in showing homes. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. go yeah. And and I with customer appointments. You don't have an appointment in that with customer, you go to show homes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you well, want us to go no, from no. the set, if we're on the phone with oh, that. It doesn't have to be sequential. Just make it what it actually is. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is, so an appointment set office. is not showing up. You want us, when you set an appointment, go to appointment set. You want to see it going from appointment set to showing homes. That's the needle you need to see moving. Well, so if... If you if you set the appointment, right? Well, what I'm saying oh, is that hang on. I, I think yeah. this is what you're saying. If she <laughs> if she bypasses setting the appointment and automatically goes to showing homes, does yeah. it automatically it, it count? Goes, yes. Okay, so it's gonna backtrack for you guys. It's cool. So if you're if you're moving from step one to step three, it's automatically counting step two. Is that correct? Beautiful. <laughs> And then what See, about that's why we have these meetings, man? And then what about writing yes. offers? Because I don't ever put anything in writing offers. If I'm showing homes, I'm writing offers. Like so that's the correlation. If we're seeing what? houses, we're writing offers. Oh, see, I, I oh okay. So, so so all right. So if you were if you were let's just talk about it. If we were showing some homes mm -hmm. and I know that I'm writing offers for this person, I probably would stay it at the writing offers phase. So why should because you, you know that so yeah, 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 you you move that needle. Chances okay. are if you wrote one offer for them, yeah. you're you're writing the second, the third, yeah. until it fuck until you got it, until it's close, right? Okay. So I'm cool with that too. And actually this is really helpful because I I was kind of feeling the same way you guys are where I'm like, fuck man, you gotta move these little fucking Things right. and stuff. No, if it makes sense, you just <laughs> jump, to, jump to exactly where you are and it's going to count it for you anyway. So you want to see it moving from showing homes to if you submit an offer, submitting offers, and then under those are going to be the most important ones, showing homes, submitting offers under contract? Yeah, and well, the, the, the closed. Yeah, the closed, closed one. Right. Now, Katie, you're, you're, you do the closed for us, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you do. The only thing you don't, here's why. You don't have to worry about the closed because uh, who sent me, Alexa sent me a message yesterday and said, uh, I see there's one sale on my profile. And remember, we want them to be zero because it looks funky when we have one, one, right? So she does that for us. She closes them out. If you can close them out if you want, but I'd rather have Katie close them out because then she makes sure everything's tight on the Zillow page and you guys don't have to go back and do that bullshit. So is that how you guys, is that how you want to do this? Yeah. Okay, no, not I But <laughs> okay. Mm, we should probably, what was it? Uh, there's like a couple, right? Yeah. Do you want them there? I don't care. I, I, if I was you, I would just throw those two fucking things out to the wind. Okay. <laughs> no, the, the, only, the only reason I'm saying is because I would want everything or I would right. want nothing. Right. We're just listening. It's not like, and it's 138. Yeah, I, I, per, I personally, I'd probably just dump them, man. Because if, if, if in fact right, somebody, do that. Um, we'll figure that out for you. <laughs> Um, so because like, if, like I had the same as Alexa last week, it, if you go on Zillow, it shows you've sold one home and it looks, oh great, you're on this huge team and you've sold one home. It's like, right. right, and remember, that's why we protect this. And guys, the reason is you can see that you sold anything, man, because we are a collective. Mm -hmm. that I did this for, a re there's two reasons why. Number one is because we have to do the sustained compliance with every other fucking team that does this on the MLS. Number one, I got you, Oliver, one second. No, and, and it's this. Oh, go ahead. Sales. Yes. How, what, what, I want to make sure, so we're talking about past sales on your personal profile? Yeah, so, so what we, how we operate as a team to make sure that we, we don't want to be judged individually when people go to our page. 
So Severus Parrot is zero on fucking everything, makes everybody an expert on anything, and they can claim anything they want, and it doesn't show that they're like brand fucking new or things things like that. And we're trying to level the field. Okay. And in the MLS, if, if everybody played by the fucking rules, which I wish would be awesome, then we could have the LA1, LA2, and then everyone, I could get a half credit, everything, but it doesn't fucking work like that. But nobody has a set fucking set of rules. So the only way that we protected this, especially what we did when we were initially started the team, I, I had like 100, like fucking 400 sales, and this was when I first started our team, and nobody was clicking on anybody else but me. We, that was when like brand new, and I'm like, oh, this is fucking stupid. They're only gonna click on the person that has the most. So that's why I'm telling you guys all the time, keep getting those reviews. That is one thing that you can't hide, but there's one thing I want you to, I want everybody to see those, it's good shit, right? And you guys are doing a great job. Okay, oh, by the way, Castro, you did like fucking five or six in a row, so fucking totally killed. Um, so that that is the reason why. And when you see one pop up, I can tell you why this happens. When it when it closes through another company, they put it in as they don't pay attention. <laughs> they see that it's only the one name here, but then they know who they worked with, and that's cool. So they're just like, yeah, just put it in. They don't know how teams work or whatever. That's fine. So then we have to go in and edit that shit. But that's why that popped up. So Alexa, that's why that popped up, is because you and I would have been on uh, 0.5 on each of them. They closed it out on the MLS as a 0.5 on each. Right. But we go back in and we make sure that we scrub these. That's why she does the closings for you guys, to try to not have to chase all this bullshit all the time. Right. So we'll take care of it for you. I wish we had a system that allowed for all of this, but nobody else is playing this completely fair across the board. So it's, it's the best I fucking got, but I'm always open for suggestions. But I've been, I've been trying this fucking thing for years. I don't know how else to fix it. Yes? Um, so like how we're saying the thing about the one sale. So can we maybe put like the team's numbers for us? All, you, all do. Of us? you do. You it's have, there? Oh. I've just never seen it. Yeah. Like oh, what, like yeah, what Lisa said though, it'll definitely so, be like you sold one home and that's embarrassing. I'd rather look like zero. Right. Right. So the, the thing that shows is just when it says the Cody sales team on the top, it'll say 1,015 reviews, okay. 450 sales. That is what the consumer actually sees. So they'll click on the profile, and then when they click on the profile, it's your phone, it's your yeah. phone shift, it goes right to you. Okay. Now, some people, they just look at it and they're like, ooh, you know, it's a really good looking guy. I'm gonna click on this joint. So then they, <laughs> I know people are weird like that. And I'm sorry, you guys, a lot of you girls are very, we're looking so you will find some creeps like that just fucking just deal with the i don't say just deal with them you know it, i'm not saying send just deal with them send, send them you send if, if they're Jason. fucking weird you can send them to any of us okay yeah if you see muscle lovers don't send them back to me because i'm saying fucking weirdo this is weirdo this is actually a wonderful discussion the last 15 minutes here. I love finding some of the things that we, we actually didn't even plan for because when you guys talk and you're talking yourself through this and you're saying, hey, at my day to day, that doesn't make sense what they're saying up here. Always take a minute to stop and be like, hey, let's talk about this. I'm, I'm you, you're the ones in the field doing this. I can, I can only know what you tell me and then I can adjust from there. So you guys are doing a wonderful job of that. Please keep that up. Every fucking voice is valuable. This is really good stuff. Yes. So we've talked about a lot about like habits and how do we change what we do? How do we make it better? How do we, how do we really lean in? Um, one thing that I think is a really strong habit that you can get into is the contacts menu. The what? The contacts menu. Hey, can everybody pull out your respective device right now and, and, and follow what he's doing right here. This is, is this your uh is this the, the hot the hot this is the hot sheet. Okay. This right here, please, 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 please say, pay attention to this. This is gonna be one of the most valuable things if you're not doing it yet. This is how is you're everybody doing the hot sheet. Raise your hand. Or, and if you're not, no worries. Don't worry. I, this Don't is a safe out. space. <laughs> I'm only gonna yell at you once. <laughs> yes, <laughs> safe space. No, yeah. what do you so mean? He's just calling it a hot sheet. Hot sheet. Hot sheet. Hot sheet. But she's just okay. Okay. Go to your laptop. You have your laptop. Look at that. Perfect. Go to Zillow. 
Now, uh, yeah, Oliver, Oliver, can I ask you, if, if somebody didn't have a laptop, would they be able to see this? Would laptop, to, absolutely. No, without their laptop, would they be able to view this on their phone? Not yeah. as well, not yes, so. but okay. it's not, it, like, this is more robust. I like this. Oh, much totally. no, no, I get it. I'm just saying, some people, if they're operating on the fly or something, maybe they have a half hour between Does this points? push into follow-up boss? Yeah. Because yeah. I use yes. follow-up boss. Yes, I use hand raisers and active yes. and wide stuff. This, go, this pushes back and forth the follow-up boss. But this is like, if you're in the driveway or you have 10 minutes, like, I really think that this is awesome, like, the beginning of the day and the end of the day. Yes. Brilliant. Right? Like, I don't think this is like, oh, let me pull it up while I'm, like, sitting in a driveway for 15 minutes. Like, okay. if you go, like, Kevin, you have it pulled up, so I'm going to, so go to contacts. I actually want to see this. And then go to all, to all contacts. So go. To, so every you're at contact. Oh, you do it on your laptop. I don't ever use. I'm be honest. I don't ever use my laptop and stuff. There's I don't. But the, for the, try it. I'm gonna try it. See if she does it. That's okay. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm gonna push you. Way to this. Show her I'm, on there. I'm, 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 this is like beginning of the day and end of the day. Just like okay. The, we're we're we're, we're learning a new, a new you're tool. Okay. So Not you're at laptop. contacts. Cool. Cool. Contacts. Almost. Yes. Yes. I feel like a teacher. I know. I feel like a teacher, Jay. I, I got my teacher's license now. Yes, contact menu, awesome. Everybody's at contact. Okay, so when you're looking on Netflix, you like filter for what you want to see, right? Okay, so we have a filters button too. Click on filters. Yep. On the right hand side, it says my agent. Click on the My Agent drop down and go to Active. I will never use That's what I'm trying to do. And then hit Apply Filters. Okay, where are filters? My Agent. Go to My Agent. Go to Active. Go to Active. I'm going to see. Are you saying? Okay, where did you find those? So they either have 30 day financial relationships or they are locked in for the year. Okay. So you'll see their grading date. Beautiful. Okay. So, like this Beautiful. person created on March 11th. So that's that's like, all we were trying to show you. Well, look, look, what does everybody see on the left hand side? Everybody knows <laughs> work, work spreadsheets, right? Nope. Okay, so on the left hand side, what do you see? In the right hand Activity, right? right? Recent activity, what does that word at the top say? There, there's a word that says right where the pointer is. What does that word say? Today. Today. That word says today. So I'm waiting for my phone shift. I'm waiting for a new lead. I'm waiting for a new lead. Pull up this list. You have how many people that are active today? They're, they're on Zillow looking at Zillow at property. So what I hey, do. So this, this is great. You know, I'm just sitting next to Gary, and he literally just told me. He said, "This is how I start every day. This is how I start every day." And then he was just saying, I, he was like, "Oh, I haven't seen this guy in a minute, but I can see that he is active right now." And then he calls him, and he's like, "Yo, are you looking at this house? Or I found this house for you." Right. Holy shit! What a coincidence! Now you're looking like a super champ. Okay. I, I, I love, honestly, I, I love this for you guys. If you could do this at the beginning of every day, you are y'all full time people, man. Even if, even if you're a part time person, you could still look. It only takes the same right? It's the same thing. If you're a part time, it'll be even quicker. Just, just a couple people, right? It's a couple people. Yeah. yeah. So, what Darian does, I do the same thing, but like if everyone's checking their email, you get an email every morning that yeah, tells so you we, who's on your phone. Oh, so you, yeah. you get, oh, so you got, you get a push notification. Yeah, yeah, yeah so then everything is oh, that, you know what? That's the same thing. Yeah, so it's like most of us are doing that, but then it's totally cool. Yeah, totally cool. So, oh my gosh, time out, one conversation. I just showed you guys, everybody's like, oh my gosh, I want to go call these people right now. <laughs> Not yet, I'm almost done. We're almost done, guys. Okay. Okay. So, great question right here. Great, great question. So, tell me your question. If you don't have a my agent relationship, will they be on your hot sheet? So you automatically get 30 days. Okay. But mm. 
what is the benefit? Now you guys all see, instead of me telling you, hey, go do this, hey, go do this. What's in it for you? What's in it for you is now you can make your hot sheet, your hot list bigger by locking in more of my agent relationships. Yes. So I'm not just part. telling you to do the, the, the text notifications. I'm not just telling you to get more surveys. I'm not telling you to be better on the phone because I just want to. It's because like literally like for you, the more you do the stuff I'm telling you to do, the more it pays dividends so, in the long term. So you term. automatically yeah. get 30 days. Automatically we, get 30 days. When we um, export it, like you showed us to, through my agent relationship, that will be just, that will also include the ones that are automatically, do you know what I'm saying? Or it, yes, it will include your yeah. 30, your 30 yes. days and under, plus anybody who's yeah. 30 to 365. Okay. Yes. Is so, there a way to then delve it down deeper yeah. while you're in there to see who you haven't actually, hasn't accepted your mind? It's really just created date. Right? Yeah, so it's created date. Okay. So, and then you also click on the, click on like the person at the top. Oh, sorry, I'm out of the internet. Sorry, they keep kicking me off. Yeah. So now you see, like, um, history five, I don't know. That's what I mean. I'm getting tired of it, though, because then you can't print it. You have a year-long relationship with the five. It's a pin. And that's the date that I'm on here. And then you can look at their homes that they view. Okay. I worked out this morning, my arms are getting so, tired. <laughs> that's insights. Yeah, so that's, um, it's not all my agents, but that's what people are looking at. The insights tab, like, Lisa just brought up the insights tab. The insights tab is like, that's everybody. If you're not, everybody has the insights tab, but like, insights tab, use that. Like, this is another list. We're giving you like the, another hot list, but this is just like what people are. But this is any. What I'm saying is, it could be anybody. It doesn't necessarily have to be your my age and relationships. Um. So let me just back up just one second here before we go any farther, because the next step would be my age and relationships, and then we're going to be done. So Oliver, just so I understand, our folks are going to a filter, and the filter that we're looking for is most recent activity, correct? Correct. Okay, so the, when it says most recent activity, that can be people who you do not have an established my agent relationship with that may have went beyond the 30 days as well. If they're still working with you, but they just haven't clicked that button to be with so you. So you can have, it's, it's 30 days they still or extended. Okay. It's all based off creative data. Okay, so what I'm saying is if, if, we're, if we have a good relationship with somebody, we're still showing them house, we're putting in offers, yep. but they did not click the My Agent Relationship in the first 30 days. If we are still moving them along our pipeline and everything, but they didn't create a My Agent Relationship, will they still show up on the recent activity section here? You won't get to see their activity. Okay, so dude, the, the My Agent Relationship, which is the next step, literally, that, that's the last thing we're gonna talk about today, that is your most critical component. That is your most critical component. And actually, guys, we all agreed last week that we are gonna, we, when we do this contest, two main things that the contest is about what? Number one, conversion rate. Number two, my each of relationships. Because my each of relationships, as we all discussed here, is the proof showing that I am moving these people. It's almost the proof showing that I still want you to move them along the, the line so we know where they're at. But that's the proof that we're moving them. Because they've said, yeah, I like this person, man. You got 30 days to build that. So my only question was, Oliver, anybody who we're definitely cool with, but for whatever reason, has not clicked the My Agent Relationship and it exceeds 30 days, where do you find these people? Like, they, they, so to find the people that, you would just have to go in and find that person and then tell them to go to your profile and click the Add as My Agent button. Okay, so what's saying? Say, Oh, they'd still be in follow up Okay. I just so, want to make sure we're not missing, like, something. So there's a couple, there's two things, right? So Lisa was talking about the email. So this is the email that you get, right? You get the, you, people get the, the, the branding email, right? We put your information, hey, like, call you. We change Zillow to be like, hey, you know, talk with my, your agent. Like, this is what they get, but then you also get the email of like what they harden and stuff like that. So that email does come to you. You get nice. like okay. a little yeah. bit of a hot list. So nice. 
There's one other filter. So instead of doing active, do another filter and go to end soon. Yeah, that's, what I'm gonna do. that's a good one too. So now you just see the people that are under 30 days that are gonna end. So you can go to your end soon and then send them a reminder, hey, let's do the friend request on Zillow. Love it, love it. And, and guys, that's kind of, I, I know that that might sound a little cheesy, but man, people like cheese. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How do you, I don't know. Why not one but no, but it's not like cheesy, but I like it actually when you say, hey, here's, here's my Zillow friend request. I, I like it's like it's a big it's, it's, it's just it's just more ubiquitous. It makes people at ease. Yes. So I have two things. So these are things that you can hear. Yes. All right. Let's. Uh, hey Oliver, we have a question here real quick before we move on. I have two questions. Two questions. It kind of goes with my agent. Um, I had asked you this, and you're going to ask him, but he's here anyway. Yes. Um, what happens if someone clicked my agent for? Say Stacy, and then Stacy reassigns the lead to me for whatever. My agent relationship state like if you reassign, my agent relationship then goes to you. It comes to me. Okay, so that answers that question. Okay. Another question being, everyone is not using Bub, and the, the issue we're coming up with a lot is that people, for whatever reason, create nine Zillow logins, and the only way that we're able, the only way that we know that this is happening, if people are using Bub, because it doesn't get. We can't access it. And then I call Katie, and Katie's like, "No, it's in your Zillow." And then when she sends it to me, automatically I know. Or if I see someone that has two email addresses and it isn't in my Zillow, I'm like, "Someone else already has this." So yeah. if we're not using follow-up us. There's no way for right. you know what that, that's actually news to me right now. I thought that we were at the point where everybody had follow-up us and creation. Uh, let me just tell you right now that if you're not using it, don't take any more leads starting today. If you're not if you're not making this fair to everyone else around you then you can't play. If you're not using follow up boss, don't take a fucking leap starting this minute. You don't have that option. This is no fucking option, guys. We agreed as a team and we shook hands metaphorically that we would all be on the same page. We would move together as a phalanx, as a Spartan warrior tribe. If you are breaking the phalanx, then you go fight your fucking battles by yourself. That's all I can say. I don't know who the fuck it is, but I don't like it. I thought we had full fucking buy-in here. So Katie, you'll have to let me know later. We will address it individually, and then we'll go from there. You cannot be part of this if you don't fuck with all of us. I, I, I'm, I thought I made that super clear. That being said, if said person or persons doesn't understand follow-up loss, let me help you. Let me get you the knowledge, okay? It is not an option. It's not an option. For people that might not understand what you're saying, the only way, like, safe, kind of like, Kay Kaylee and I had one last week. I talked to the lady literally the day before, and for somehow she called in on another number or a different email. No, that, 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 that fucks us, though. I will tell you right, right now. Yeah. When a client comes, that is no one's fault. Right. When a client has the same name, but they come in and they register with two separate email addresses or three of them, there's no way around that, okay? We, we, the only way around that is we can find, okay, Alvin, maybe so, you fix that. Well, I would, this goes back to the connection call. Hey, I can show you this property and anything else before you click any other buttons online. Now that we're working together, don't touch and go, like if they go on Zillow and then they go on Trulia, since we own both sites, if they go on Zillow and then they go on Trulia, that, that person is now two people, right? Okay. So make sure like, this is why ALM is so powerful. I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> ALM is so powerful. Before we, you know, got see, like I used follow up boss from the beginning just for my own personal reasons. Sure. So before we started like tracking numbers and stuff, when something wouldn't come to me, like right after a call, I'd enter the information mm -hmm. in. Yeah. So then I ended up with a duplicate contact or whatever reason. Is there a way to merge to, button? To, well, you can what if <laughs> what if I don't put the same exact information? Like, is there a way if I have time to go through? Can I send them to you and you can remove them? Do you know what I'm saying? So I don't have two. I can, but I have a it's, ton of them it's better to merge them. And if you show me which one you want me to merge okay. it into, oh, it'll. There's a merge? Because that would be yes. nice. Is there a way right. we can merge? 
Brazil or Brazil? Yeah. 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 Yeah, there is. Someone's not in, so, so if someone's in Brazil but not your follow-up boss, if you go to enter their, because most of them are using different email addresses, not yes. necessarily right, right, right. phone numbers. Right. If you go to enter their phone number, it's going to say to you, this lead is already assigned to you. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. why if, no, if you're not okay. using follow-up boss, that's how people are getting Yeah, over we can't, look, there's a few reasons why you can't do that. Number one, just literally because we all agreed we were doing this shit, okay, so be a man or woman of your word, but more so, guys, I I don't want to pay four to six hundred dollars a phone call for the same motherfucker who calls in twice. I can't I can't keep affording this shit. My, right. I'm I'm not doing well right now financially as far as buying this shit. We cannot let shit like this slide. Mm -hmm. In the past, we have we I, I just we just can't do it anymore. That's why we're doing this right now, and it makes life a hell of a lot easier. Plus, if we do get in the rare case where a person was showing this person homes and now the new person called and now the new person is, is we went out with them and then we find out about this, we have to figure out who the hell is actually working with this client. By the, by the, end, of, by, by the end of the day, who's actually the person who makes the call? You. No, it's not me. Client. The client. Yeah. I will help discern why they went and called somebody else when they had somebody to start with, a lot of times when they're calling the next person is because said original person didn't do what the fuck they were supposed to do. At nine out of 10 times, they're calling because they didn't get what they were supposed to. Now, one out of 10 times, it's an operator error. Oh fuck, I didn't know, man. I, I just didn't know, or I didn't know how the system worked. That's what they'll claim. I think they know what they say not. Educate them. Yeah. Which we will. To a, like setting the appointment, then the yeah. location, then the motivation, like, Really get to know the person rather than just being adorable, yeah. right? Right. Yeah, and so there's there's a couple questions waiting. We had a question here about what was what was the question? I have a my agent relationship that's about to expire. So I've been working with her for it's been almost a year. She's taken a big chunk of time off. She's just active again today, but mm -hmm. our relationship will end the first week of April. So there's three th there's no three reason things you no can reason. do. No. Right. So one work. thing that you can do is if you send this <laughs> request, right, you text them, you can text them your Zillow profile and say, hey, click this, this button. That's click, important hey, thing click this button. Oh, like, you don't have to do anything else. Just like, click that button. <laughs> well, that comes from our phone, not from our follow-up. So and then we're I, don't, I don't care if you send it as a carrier pigeon link to your Zillow profile. <laughs> I don't care if it's follow boss. What like this is literally send them a send them your oh, yes. yes. What, what she said. Okay. Yeah. What she said. Get them to your Zillow page and say click that button. Number two is there's a button in your where you can hit confirm, right? Like in the lead, you can hit the button on the lead when you're looking at the lead on on your profile. You hit confirm and it sends an email that says, hey, confirm it as your agent on Zillow. You can do that. The easiest way in this case for like something that's ending soon, mm -hmm. what I would no do. There's confirm button on here. It, did you do five already today? No. Okay. It's just saying that we're, because we're still working together right now. Right now. Okay. So, so, what, saying, <laughs> so the, way to, the way to basically like hijack the system is, hey, like this is my Zillow profile. Just wanted to make sure that we're connected through Zillow so that any other properties that we're gonna see, that we see together, if you text them through Zillow, this is key. If you text them through Zillow, it extends the my agent relationship by 30 days from the day that they respond to you. So okay, so can, can I back up a second here? So she's been working with this client. I can see that it's gonna end in shortly. Why can't she just do the basic link and, and she can. I'm, I'm oh, giving okay. multiple options. Oh, okay. So yeah. she can do any of these. All right. Okay. okay. But All right. what, what you just said is if we're oh, texting gosh. them for Zillow, but we're not. We don't use Zillow. We don't. We don't we're Zillow. I, I, so everybody talk about We're going off on tangents and saying what offs and like, we can't do this. We Like, I'm giving you a tool as like, hey, if you want to lock this person in, like, yes, follow up loss 100% isn't going to do what this does because this is a proprietary tool, yes. right? So I'm just saying, if you're, in, if you're like, hey, you know what? I really wanna lock this person in. 
Send a text through Zillow because it's going to lock them in for another 30 days. But it's going to send a text from a different number that's not our follow-up, which is very confusing. To okay, that's why. That's, I, yes, I yeah. understand. And this this right here, yeah. guys, this is the easiest way. If you actually just hit Zillow.com and you agent find it, type your name in, your name will actually come up. Or I can tell you every single person right here. Or like my, if you're on your profile. Zillow.com slash J, the letter J, that's okay with you. And then it'll bring it to my profile. So what uh, Zagoda did actually, he saved he saved the link, the actual Piper link on the top in his notes. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. that all he did was copy and paste. He just went to his copy, yeah. copy and paste yeah. the notes. Yeah. Yeah. Went to my keyboard on my iPhone, typed in Zet. Zillow yeah. agent for me. So I know when I type in Zet, I send text to my client. That's so brilliant. I have my signature that way. Yeah. 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 I have all yeah. my yeah. stuff right yeah. 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 Ye
Um, so, like, this is from a long time ago, but when we're talking about the agent relationship thing and, like, how we use the email, so, like, what I like to tell people is kind of like, hey, like, I'm going to send you this email. If you can confirm that for me, it'll show me all your activity. Kind of just like the same as the whole market, but it shows the bill and stuff. And they have a quick chat, like, if I feel like I can talk to them about that. And they always have to confirm, like, I've been trying to get a certain phone, like, even people that I just don't talk to. Okay, yeah, do what you want to do. It's okay. 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 It's okay